Testing, testing. Okay. Okay, let's start uh, our session today. The second session with the session of Umur Kitab Al-Fatihah. Okay, first of all, uh, thank you for coming for this uh, second session, uh, second session of coaching, uh, Masum 2021. Um, if you have any question during the this uh, what we call the Zoom meeting, uh, you can just interject me. Um, yeah, so let's start. Uh, in previous class, in previous uh, coaching, I talked a little bit about uh, chess base. So I think it's good for me to sort of like uh, explain a little bit about chess base. Even though some of you doesn't have it, <coughs> but at least you get the idea. When I talk something, I talk chess base, chess base, chess base, you understand what I'm saying. So chess base is uh, like what we call, uh, we can say it's just like a manage a prog database management program. Uh, it's like a, a library. Uh, you know the library, you have books, right? In the library, you have books. So uh, if the library doesn't have books, then they are no, we don't call it library. Like same like a chess base. Chess base is like uh, what we call, it's a program that uh, what we call store the games store all the game that you input into this uh, the program and if the game is just a little then they are no use lah so you can input the game manually for example let's say uh, for those who don't have chess base don't worry because uh, the the feature also available in the chess I will show you later on but I want to show, I want to teach you now a little bit about how you can analyze your game how you can sort of like do self analysis and also store your game and so on in chess base for those who have chess base you can go to the board and then you can see this uh what we call the layout um <coughs> so you have the chess set and then you have this what we call the notation panel uh and you can just enter manually the move that you want to input lah for example let's say you play a game e4 e5 and F3 like that so you can see the notation appear on this uh, what we call on the side here so let's say the game play like this um, this is F6 okay so in the what we call in game in top level game you almost never see this thing okay people always uh, either play like this so this is a fully door opening okay or do other stuff or play like this this is like uh, typical E4 E5 games lah but uh, it's very almost rare lah. Oh, uh, people that people don't play this because first the reason of the first reason why people don't play this because f6 so you see uh, this time i put the what we call the the the, the coordinate here 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 a b c d e f g s so for those of you who are just new to the notation at least you know lah what i'm saying so if i say f6 meaning that they are pound at f location f here and six here so uh so the reason why this is bad is because of this thing yeah because of this uh they have this uh, what we call the diagonal here is weak whenever you open up the f pound always careful about this f pound eh? always careful about this f pound regardless you are white or black the f pound once you move it then uh, the pound uh, then the king position will be compromised because typically in chess uh, regardless you are white or black you want normally most let's say more than 50 percent of the time people will castle king side the king side mean this side lah this is what we call king side the short side okay the other side here this one this is queen side so you see the queen is here so we call it queen side okay i need to tell the, i need to uh, say this because um some of you might not nila most of you know but uh, maybe the new person like kur and aisha khalid maybe they, they don't uh, nila so uh typically we want to castle king side the reason being is because when you castle king side you already have the three pound uh you, you already like this huh? you already the reason why people favor the king side is because let's for example for the black like this the kings already like um sort of like uh safe be beneath the uh under under this pound protection lah is 
uh, what we call completely protected by the pound if you castle queen side for example like this for example typically like this okay if you castle queen side normally this pound the, the side pound here is uh, far away so the king normally when you play uh, king uh, queen side castling the king must spend extra time to go to the b1 here because because here the pawn is undefended so normally uh, the queen or the rook can attack this pawn so the king must take time to go to the b1 so that's why the reason why most of the game 50 uh, more than 60 percent 70 percent of the time you see that the castling will be on the king side regardless you are white or black okay so one of the problem with the f6 is that it make this uh what we call the the, the diagonal is weak as i said once you move the pawn you cannot move it back okay other piece like a queen bishop uh, knights or rook whenever you move it you can always retreat but for the pawn when you move it then it's done i mean the pawn never goes back so this is weak because uh, before this before this thing before this thing they are like fully uh, the square is fully protected for example this pound uh, protect the square this this pound protect the square this pound protect the square okay but if you move it like this then this this square the, the g6 square here is uh, become uh, weaker lah because only one pound this pound protected the square uh, this uh, i have explained a little bit uh, in the previous coaching lah why this square the, the weak square and the it's very important because uh, when you are playing uh, at the beginner level when you play at the casual when you do play casually normally people just want to play like uh, attack attack and then defend attack defend attack defend but once you go up a little bit higher meaning in terms of the strength the notion of the square weak square weak spot uh, that thing is uh, predominate lah because uh, when you play against strong player you cannot expect they will uh, blunder they give queen free knight free and so on so the only so the the win or the lose uh, for the game at high level normally determined by the subtle uh, inaccuracy for example moving just the pound here they make the square weak and because of that weak square just for us for us beginner maybe we are not really think that we think that is nothing but for them just small inaccuracy is enough to cost them a game so okay again back to here okay so let me remove this how to remove delete 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 apa nama dia delete multiple no this is what how to remove this color delete no well uh, delete delete uh, training commentary no so delete uh, that commentary no color yeah okay so the reason why as i said the reason uh, this is uh, what we call weak is because of the this uh, weak uh, diagonal but of course in this position they are like what we call uh, immediate tactic so knight can take this okay normally knights uh, you sacrifice a knight for the pound is not really good lah because a knight is worth three point if you look here can you hear me eh? or not everybody is it can you hear yes me? okay yes so uh yeah. typically yeah. we know that the in chess you can see here just relative relu you can see the knight is worth three three point eh? three point uh bishop three rook five queen six like that so it's not really good for you to sacrifice for knight for one pound only so this uh, most of you know but this you cannot take it as an absolute truth because everything is relative huh? everything is relative for example huh? uh, th this uh, numbering system is used by the computer chess and so on to do some evaluation but nowadays uh, the computer chess become so good that uh, they also looking at the alternative nowadays also they have this like uh, AI that the artificial intelligence embed, embedded into the computer program so that is not just rely strictly on this numbering system okay uh, this numbering system is just a guide okay for example if you look here if you look here okay if you look this uh, this part uh, this one uh, this one okay uh, this is common uh, this is common you have a bishop here just look here how I want to make it bigger uh, control one 
Eh, no. Wait, ah, how I make? I want to make it big so it's easy. Let me this first. Maybe I use this software for a while. Zoom X Z. Okay, let me open back. Okay, just paste the value. So let me zoom. Yeah, now we can zoom. Okay, if you can see there. Okay, if you can see there. Uh, we know that nine and bishop is around like uh, three, three, three. What called? The value is three. Uh, so if here normally uh, in the chess game you always uh, found this position uh, whether you are playing white or black. Typically, uh, uh, in one day or you will find you uh, you are facing this position where knight and bishop attacking this pawn at uh, what we call f7. So if you take the pawn here. And then rook take, and then knight take, and then king take. So, if you calculate by point, you will see that bishop and knight is three here, three, and bishop this is three also. Okay, uh, but if you this pawn, if you take the pawn, so pawn is one, uh, rook is five, right? So if you calculate three plus three is six, and rook plus uh, one also six. By looking just on the number, you will say that okay, I can take this, and if the rook takes, I take with the knight, and the king take back, then it's equal. But it's not really that case because uh, it's relative. The numbering is just relative. Even though three plus three is six, plus plus five plus one is six, the exchange is not equal because in the middle game, if you look here, this still in the middle game. In the middle game, the piece. Piece, meaning that the other thing than pound lah, is more useful than the pound. Okay, in the end game, yes, the pound might have some advantage. So if you do this, if you are white here, is not really good for you to take on f7. Even though if you calculate, this is three three six five one six, because in the middle game we want to preserve the what we call the piece. Okay, so that's what I call the relative value of the piece. Uh, how to escape? Okay, so this thing. So um, yeah, so this just a guideline only. Ah, uh. uh, the 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 thing here: pawn one, knight three, bishop three, uh, rook five, queen nine. It's just a guideline. So you know uh, the what we call the the generic idea, but it's not to be taken as an absolute truth. Okay, coming back to here um, to this. Okay, uh, by right. Taking the pawn with the knight is not really good lah because uh, knight is three, pawn is one. But here they are immediate tactic. With the tactic is based on this lah, on this uh, diagonal here. Diagonal here, so the queen can go here and check. If you if you open this thing, you can get the what we call the rook is free lah. So you get rook is five, so you get more lah. If you look here, you can see now you have knight, but this you can go. So at least you get like. Uh, here, if you look here at the bottom here, I think you can see. Ah, uh, uh, the white have pound, rook, and pound. Uh, the black is only knight. So, even though at the beginning you sacrifice a knight, it's not really sacrifice. It's just like this. We don't say sacrifice. It's just because of tactic. Okay, so you get this. Okay, if let's say you want to preserve the rook, you move the king there. You can uh, take the pound check. So now this. Uh, the king is move. Uh, is already like move somewhere else, and you can just uh, gain the initiative by continue checking. And if you go here, then you can get, go checkmate lah. So you check here, and then you go, uh, and then you go here, and then you move this, and then it's open the pass here. So it's already checked. And then the only way to prevent this check is to move the g5, and then you play h5, uh, threaten to eat this, and when you threat that, when you eat the, when you capture. On G4, then this rook will checkmate the king. So that's the reason why um, playing this. Uh, whenever you you all all, please be wary about moving, especially the F pound. Okay, most of the tactic uh, at the beginner level happen uh, because they they not really careful moving the F pound. The F pound is either here, regardless you are white or black, or here. So be be really careful on that lah. So um, here, when you check here, okay, the king. Uh, let's say go here. Okay, let go here back. Okay. Okay, here the the better defense 
is basically removing this uh, by uh, pushing the pound to the d5 okay d5 here the, the d and then d is 5 the d5 the reason for this even though it's looking that you uh, black giving the free pound the reason for playing this is that this bishop now can control this so there are no if the king goes here the queen cannot go here okay but still the position is lost for black because you can see that the the what we call the initiative by the white the white is have the bishop uh, the queen the center and the king cannot be uh, the black king cannot castle and so on so we can see that the black is yeah it's really near to nila to loss it's already lost actually so if let's say the king goes here uh, uh, uh white can play uh white can play this in order to go checkmate here uh, not checkmate meaning that to go here lah to checkmate lah checkmate okay uh, no you don't eat the thing lah so and then uh the the black can uh the only way the black can what we call avoid this thing because if let's say if let's say you want to know what happened uh, if let's say black move something like this right okay new variation white can check and then there are not uh, no place to go here it's only here and then you go here and then almost checkmate lah uh, we can go checkmate even though it's checkmate you can get a lot of thing lah okay so uh, so for this the black need to find the leeway somewhere to move uh, new variation somewhere to hide Okay, so for example, when you check, you need to hide lah. But this give um, a white uh, an extra another pound here because you remember this uh, the, the bishop cannot eat here because the bishop uh, must protect here because if the bishop eat then checkmate here. Okay, so so that that's the uh, that's the nila. Okay. So what I want to show you basically how you can input your game into the database, okay? Into the any program, chess program. So you have this before. You see the program already write for you. You don't need to write with the pencil and so on. And if you want to write uh, the the what we call the 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 comment, you can also say like this. For example, let's say you want to comment this, you can just double click this double click this and they said okay this is a blunder the f6 f6 uh, weaken the diagonal uh, the e4 e8 e to h5 lah h5 so so you can put like uh, the annotation there and you can also make a special tag lah for example let's say this blunder you can put like a special annotation go set medal you put the tactical blunder there so you have this uh, the black thing so whenever you see the black you know it's tactical blunder it's for you to study lah imagine you have you put a lot of games your games into the any chess program and then for you later on two days or two years from now you can look back what you write and maybe after two years your knowledge of chess become better and then you can adjust you can always adjust it so here and then of course the and so on lah uh, okay so that's how to input the game how to analyze the game okay for those who are like uh, still new to this uh, program or whatever I mean chess analysis uh, in the what we call in the chess base you can go to analysis and no bot home i think and add kibitzer okay so this uh, i add the engine so engine is something that is used by the computer to spe specifically for calculating the chess nila chess move and so on so if you look here uh, okay so i disconnect here so let's say i put just one cpu because whenever you have any chess program in your computer if you run any chess program in your computer then it really uh, use a lot of your cpu power eh? because it's counting stockfish here if you look here stockfish is one of the top engine okay top chess engine when i said later on in the future uh, coaching if i said engine i i hope that you understand uh, what i mean if you look here if you look here if you go google if you google chess engine okay if you google chess engine uh, you will find 
an engine that is used by the professional or by the people lah, by the norm anyone to help them analyze the what you call analyze the the game so for example currently the strong engine is this uh, you see this is whatever this uh, like tournament for the computer chess is basically computer play against computer they want to see which program is the best okay database is just management program here when i talk about engine is something that can calculate uh, you put a move and then you calculate something so currently the the the, the strongest engine is stockfish 14 lah uh, 14 yeah stockfish 14 and this thing you can just uh, get it for free lah uh, because stockfish is open source you can just google stockfish uh, stockfish and then you can go uh, stockfish open source engine and then you can download lah okay so when i say about stockfish later on you understand it's an engine eh? it's engine okay coming back here <coughs> if i open the engine you will see something like this eh? at the bottom here you will see numbers 0 0.3 can you see or not mio can you see here is it clear or not or is it too small yes uh, yang mana tu di bawah ni bawah saya nampak board sekarang Oh tu, okay, uh, kenapa nampak This one eh, this one eh So you see, I just want to uh, At least for those or you You are already know about this, it's okay but uh, This is specifically for Kur, Aishah and maybe Khalid If they don't know this lah uh, So that's why I ram it very fast lah now So that we don't want to waste more time On this thing but I need I I have to explain a little bit about this lah So you see the chess engine is can be used as analysis For example, you see plus minus You can see down here that you have this uh, double exclaim max so this normally we put uh, for the what we call a good move for example let's say you want to annotate, state you can say oh e5 is good move so you can just put this and then double exclaim okay so this uh, whatever this thing the double exclaim uh, exclamation mark <coughs> all of this is basically given by the human okay for example, human, when human see this thing, so for example, this thing, I can put a blind as a blunder. So let's say the blunder is, they are double, uh, what we call double question mark. So this question mark or all of this, the, this, this, what we call, this uh, good move and so on. Okay. This thing, the, the, the notation, we, we call this evaluation, uh, evaluation route, evaluation. This is given by the, what we call, by the human lah, by the human. But for the engine, if you look here, the engine just calculate. If you look here, there are numbers here. Numbers here mean the relative value of the pound. For example, when you just starting the game like this E4, E4, you see the first choice for the engine is E5. Okay. So 0 0.45, uh, meaning that uh, as if white have 0 0.45 pound. That's what does it mean. Okay. That's what does it mean and also you see plus and then double uh, this what we call this mean uh, you see here it's same like this this mean white is slightly better okay because why because um, because white is have the first move and so on lah it's have more space and so on but still there are nothing uh, nilah, nothing uh, significantly wrong by by black or white okay <coughs> normally if the number here goes above two then we can say it's significant lah so let's see we go here if i you just look here it's not much uh, changing eh? 0 0.38 so less than one normally we just ignore we assume that it's equal position and then we go nf3 and then we go f6 uh, see eh? after i click this f6 suddenly you get this red button and then you get this uh, plus minus so plus minus plus is always white so plus minus if plus is in front Okay, plus is not white, but if the plus sign here, if you if you look here, if there are plus and minus sign, if the plus sign is in front, then it says that white is winning. Okay, white is winning, as if that the white have one and one point eight pound extra. So that's what does it mean? Okay, so if you look here, the chess engine they, they, they suggest that the best move that white can do is knight time e five. So, so that's why when you play that e5, then so this like suggesting the move and so on lah. So uh, that's basically how to use engine to analyze your game lah. Typically, engine is good for tactical. Okay, 
you know that when they are for example from here you see eh, this is no what we call no red light suddenly when you go to f6 it's red light it's basically this happen when you do some tactical blunder lah chess engine is good uh, in analyzing tactical blunder but in positional chess then is a uh, another matter lah you can use chess engine to see is there any blunder in your game uh, bad move tactic move and so on chess engine is pretty good on that but if let's say the position is equal then you need to interpret yourself okay so that's why uh, although the chess engine is very strong but for you to uh, nowadays chess engine is very strong but for you to really uh, understand really what we call really benefit from chess engine is you know how to interpret okay interpret uh, well lah. okay so let me uh, remove the chess engine eh? so let me remove the chess engine because when i open the chess engine it will take a lot of uh, what we call a lot of uh, processing power of my laptop lah. i'm using just laptop okay if you don't have chess base okay well, if you have chess if you have okay before i go to the before I go to that, I want to finish this first. Okay, you see this thing, eh? you see this game. Let's say you want to, what we call to save this game, eh? save this game. If you have chess base, you can easily go here and then save S. And then let's say I go to coach, um, assume uh, maybe here lah, coaching 2. Okay, okay. And then it, it gets, it gives uh, the, ni lah, whatever this thing, you can put this maybe core, black, maybe Mio lah, Mio. And then you can have this is like casual you can just put everything and then you have all this thing here lah. okay and when you do that when you close this thing you get uh, inside this and I put where I put in coaching yeah. so you see you have this code and Mio safe in your computer so you it's not like a long time ago people used to write on the paper huh? on the paper manually but now you can just open the computer just just go through like this and then just see like that so it's easy okay so whenever you have game and so on you can save it and then later on you can sort of like a uh, train uh, you can uh, refresh back what you have done you can also see for example this is what I did for for your game lah currently so this is uh, your what we call the leak the current leak that you did currently so you can see now it's already 24 games so i put the your name instead of your lead chess account so that's one thing about the chess program you can sort of like uh, create a database and then you can sort of like learn from that for example here if i want to know about uh, for example if i want to know about khalid eh? let's say i want to know about khalid so if i go to khalid eh? if i go to khalid game i can always see that khalid always play Khalid always play e3 and then he will he will play normally what Khalid will play is he put the, the bishop uh, the queen here and then the knight Fanketo his bishop here and then castle queen side okay so you can see da -da 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 okay and then and then that thing so when you know when you have the data of your opponent you can sort of like prepare against them so that's one good thing about uh, what we call about chess engine though okay so that's a good thing of chess in game if you have enough data for your opponent then you can prepare in advance okay this is how the top player uh, do their their, their 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 job okay basically uh, chess is professional job for top player lah. it's like a uh, football Okay, you can play football casually but chess also uh, like kind of professional job like football so they are like professional chess player and so on so their 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 what you call their work is just playing chess and yeah so you see the tech that i show just now you see uh, last time uh, previously i show you that the i put the tag black eh? black i put the black tag uh, that to indicate there's a blunder so if you have database if you have a lot of things uh, i already checked uh, some of your games here so most of your game if you look here is because of tactical blunder so this can be used if let's say this all of this is your game you can sort of like know where your typical mistake is this that is more important for you than you study a lot of other games 
because you know your mistake so that is far more important than you uh, study anything else it's important to study other games but it's far more important to correct your mistake first so that's why when you analyze your game for example here especially for the sister lah for the sister most of your game uh, the, the first the first what we call the, the first round most of your game lost is because of the blunder lah of the blunder here later i will uh, explain lah not not today but later lah but most of the blunder blunder mean you give peace free and so on so that's blunder should not be happening lah at least for your level now you are playing for the IIUM you're playing for the university at least blunder you need to avoid lah you may you may ask then why chess game is won okay um, in the top games in the top player game they won because inaccuracies okay it's not blunder blunder mean you just give it for free you oversight overlook something tactic is a little bit different tactic is like you it's not blunder you just maybe you overlook a small small thing but not enough to make you lose okay uh, uh, not enough to make you lose immediately okay but blunder if you do the blunder uh, like giving the piece for free then it just like uh, no goal lah so that's why for the sister please uh, check your blunder lah don't don't uh, put your piece hanging and so on later i will explain in uh, in detail lah uh, so now what i have teaching you now is basically what is chess base and how what is the use of chess base how to annotate in chess base for example let's say here uh, i take a uh, mio and aisha huh? mio and aisha if i open this you see i already put uh, some of the annotation myself okay so this uh, you annotate yourself and then you see where is aisha make blunder the black 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 here the black tag 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 and then once you have something like this you can always do print and then go to print game and then you can get something like this okay something like this and then you can just use for nila or you can just if you want to put uh, for example if you want to put like a diagram you just insert a diagram there uh, you can insert a diagram here insert a diagram insert a diagram here Okay, and then you file and you go to print and then you print game and then you have something that is nice which you can just save in your PDF and so on. If you look here, uh, the, 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 the what we call the, the diagram is there. They do it for you uh, straight away and then you can put it uh, uh, as a document. Lah. Because later on for the professional, they need this documentation and also you can make a chess book also for this. Okay, out of this and so on. So enough for that. I will not explain a little bit uh, whatever here yet because my purpose now is to introduce you to the chess base. It doesn't mean that you need chess base. It just I want you to know at least for Kur Aisha, there are a program that can ease your study for chess. So that's what my main thing lah. My main uh, uh, your main takeaway lah. Uh, because you are now uh, university player at least you need to know this there are people outside there they, they they are gathering your games and then they study your games before they play you later on so when you study your opening game then you can like prepare you well prepare and so on so that's also one of the reason why I in the Google Sheet, if uh, if I may, if I may, if I put a Google Sheet here, let's say your Google Sheet, your Google Sheet, your Google Sheet. <coughs> oh, lambatnya. Masuma. Okay. Hey, Mio, why tak ada ni? You buang ke? Huh? Buang apa? Ni, nama ni. Hey. Uh, saya tak sentuh pun Tak sentuh eh? tak apalah Okay And that's the reason why I put all these things So that you can uh, Previously in the last masum For those who are like players in the last masum uh, We don't do like this uh, organization Right But now When we do like this I believe some of you Will click here And look at your games at Your friends game and so on And prepare Without organization 
you need to find where is Mio, when is Mio play with Aisha, when is Mio play with Hani, yeah, and so on. So this is like organization. So this sort of like database, the chess base, they put everything here, put in a program and make it much more easier. Lah. So even here also, you can see the benefit of organization lah. because chess, there are a lot of games. Right? You, you play a lot of games, but if there is no organization, then the way how you study also will be like quite lagging lah. Okay, the more you organize your chess game, the more easy for you to study. Eh? So here, the reason why I use why I put like this is that for you to prepare against your opponent. Because uh, this tournament, the, the one that leaked chess, uh, yeah, it will decide they, they, they like 22 round in total. Now it's only four round. Safidin still the top top only top uh, top player uh, undefeated <coughs> uh, maybe for the winner i give the some price uh, so yeah so you can already see the benefit of organization here okay so we just close this uh, let me continue back here so let me close this thing okay let me close this thing i just want no i don't know to save let me open again Masum. Okay, so that is the benefit of the chess base. So uh, for Kur, Aisha and Khalid, uh, next time when I say about chess base, you know what does it mean. It's just a database. Huh? You can put input your game into the, into the, what we call, into the, into the program and then it is your study later on. Okay. Okay, now, if let's say now, if I put here, I only have your game. If I manually input the game, I only have what I input lah. So it's limited. If all of you, if the game that I input is only my game, then, and I'm not really professional. So I cannot learn much lah. Because in order to learn, normally when people say that when you want to learn best, you learn from the expert. You learn from the master. You learn from the, what we call, the, 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 the professional itself. So now, if I input the game manually, I just input what I know. But there are many games played uh, outside. So we need a bigger database. So this database that I put, I manually input each of your game. Eh? If your game, here in my database. For me to ease for analysing and for the coaching. Lah. But let's say I want to learn about the game itself. I need to have big database. Okay, in chess world, they, they have what we call chess based database lah so if i close this uh, and then i put here this is a chess base also if i go to my database here you see here mega database here okay so this is not what i input uh, this i subscribe basically this is database um, the games that is played uh, let, let it uh, nila. okay this is the game they are like 8 million, 8.6 million. If you look on the top here, on the top here, you will see there are 8.6 million games. Of course, I cannot put 8.6 million manually in my computer. Okay? It will take like ages, right? To For me to input everything. And also, I don't have access to the game that I played in, maybe in Europe, in US. I don't have access for that. So, we need the help from the others lah. So this is the use of database, mega database. There are people sell this database. The most famous one is by the chess base. So what is inside this database is basically the game that is played in the, what we can say, the good tournament. Okay, what differentiate good tournament and bad tournament is that good tournament is a tournament that is recognized by the FIDE. Okay, maybe you might ask what is FIDE. For you, uh, Safide, Mew and those who are no, then Maybe it's nothing for you lah. But for those who are new, FIDE is basically the organization that govern the chess lah. For for football, you have FIFA, right? For for chess, you have FIDE. So there are tournament that is uh, organized by the FIDE. Uh, we call it rated tournament and so on. So that's tournament. Most of the tournament that is organized by the FIDE, which is uh, considered as a good tournament, they put. Uh, whatever they play they put inside whatever people play in that tournament they put inside this okay so in my database i have like 8.6 million games 
starting from the 100 1400s until last week i think until last week so i keep updating this thing so until last week lah so all of this is the what we call the top player uh, the the top uh, the, not top meaning that the the federated tournament okay some of you might ask i mean the kur and aisha might ask what is the number here 2149 this is basically the rating eh? okay chess the higher the rating the 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 stronger you are lah. like lead chess also you have see the rating you have the like four number and the side right so the higher the rating is the the the, the stronger the game lah the rating that you have in the lead chess is not recognized right? the the rating that you have in lead chess is just a rating for the sake of rating lah but this rating here when they play in the real game i mean this is a uh, bliss even though bliss is a uh, federated so let's say here the game here for example you see uh, i click here you see on the side here blah 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 blah, blah. i don't know why is this i don't know let me see something that's easy for me to see okay this okay so this is a russian championship eh? russian championship for the woman so when the player play against uh, in the rated games in the FIDE organized tournament normally they get rating yeah? 2-0 whatever 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 normally uh, we can say if you have rating above 2000 then you are like expert lah below 2000 we can say like uh, more like casual player beginner above 2000 uh, we can say they are like average chess player if you are i think we have this maybe just go here just chess rating just elo rating uh okay elo rating video whatever chess rating system okay go to chess rating system i just give you okay so you can see this rating eh? uh we don't go we don't see bottom lah we see here 2000 and 2200 uh basically we call it candidate they, they, candidate master or just a strong player lah but once you reach like this one this one okay the the this thing is not really useful lah i mean this elo scale this 1978 this old one let me go for the new one this ucf i don't know what is the video rating regardless lah but normally when you see somebody have two four something then you can uh, you can assure that uh, he or she is very strong lah above 24 normally it's very strong lah uh, 24 is i am when i say later on gm gm this is what i mean lah grandmaster lah normally grandmaster have 25 and above and super grandmaster is uh, 27 and above so that is rating when i say about rating that that's what i mean lah so this is what I mean by this number so in this database i have like 8.6 million so from this database i can extract the data for example let us me go back to your game here let me go back to your game here let us me go back to your game let us say uh, let us say I go to Mew Aisha game eh? Mew Aisha game <coughs> let us say I go to Mew Aisha game and then I want to see is there any play any games played by other person in the FIDE rated in the, in the FIDE organized tournament that play like this so I can go to this reference so when I put when I click reference what does it mean is that it will pull from the my database the 8 million database just now okay so it takes time so here you can see eh, what does it mean okay so the here hotness here meaning that they are trending lah trending if they are hot they are trending lah so you can see because it's a large database you can see my cursor also uh, have this like uh, that thing that i call it what i call it that the the circle of death lah. but basically uh you can see okay there are some gameplay like this okay so uh, eh, what is the thing oh, so this thing so it's too big lah. Uh, so let me go here okay let me go here okay until here let's go go to reference okay meaning that <coughs> they are so game there are seven pers there are nine games that is in my database that have this exact position okay so that game is played by this guy lah this guy so if i click here so you see here there are game that is played by 
exactly the same like what Aisha and Mew play just now. So you can study the game. So maybe for example, Aisha make mistake in this game. So maybe uh, by looking at the good game, so this is not really good lah. This one three ninety is very low lah. Maybe is two one. Yeah, two one is maybe a little okay, but yeah. So you can see that you can learn. So this game, this position is uh, have been reached by this guy, these two guy, Wilmos and Adam uh, in this what we call Hungary Championship. So you can see from this game, so you can see how they play compare with your games. And from that you can learn lah. So you can also see the popularity. So for example, you see here the popularity of the opening, your opening. Is it popular nowadays? And then the the, the common end game that happened is night by night. But this just from database lah. So that is your idea. If you have database, big database, you can pull and then you can learn from that. Okay, so enough for that. <coughs> so I just want to introduce you for the database. Okay. So all these database you can sort by the what we call by the L, by the rating and so on. Okay, now let's say you don't you that you don't have this chess base. Most of you doesn't have chess base the 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 the, the original one. Uh, you can always use uh, Lee Chess. Okay, Lee Chess also is good. Okay, I mean most of the chess program nowadays is uh, chess in online also good. So you are used to this right. So let's say you want to analyze your game, you can go to analysis board. Mean that you want to learn about some opening, you go to analysis board, and then you have the bots, okay. And then let's say the game that we analyze in the chess base just now, this one, this one, okay. So let me close this first, and then this one, and then this one, and then this one. And then this one, 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 and then this one. Okay, this is the one that I show you just now in the chess base. So now I want to sort of like telling you how you want to analyze using the the chess lah if you don't have because later on in the third week, I mean this is our first week of training. Second week of training, and then there are third week of training. In the third week of training, you need to present something. Okay, I will ask you to share the screen. So if you don't have chess base to 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 show, you can use this what we call the lead chess also to show to explain your game because that's the idea for the third week training. You need to explain your game one selected game to the others lah, and I will give a feedback and so on. Okay, here. So you have this thing you want to study about this opening. So if you look here, they ask uh, the the icon of book. So what does it mean? This is like book, book. Uh, not this is book opening lah. So there are also games here. You see, there are games. There are games by the Sanchez Hugra. There are game by the Demencio Anton. Whatever this game. So there are game that is exactly have this configuration. Eh? So you can see hundred, hundred, hundred. Everything is black, white, right? The white in color meaning that. White score hundred percent mean that white always win in this game. So you might ask from where this they gather from 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 where what database they gather. My thing, the one that I show you, I say that I have this my own database. I have my own database which is eight point six million games in it. But here in the lead chess, they also pull this this what we call this what we call this game. The 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 game from somewhere. So let's see what database they use. So if you want to use what database they use, you click here, and then you see the database that they use is the this thing two million on the board. Okay, two million on the board games of two 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 zero zero plus federated player. So you know just now I talk about the rating. So this what does it mean? So it's good game lah. Is is the 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 what we call here whatever you see here this is a rating the game that they show here is all the game that played by the by the player that have two two zero zero rating lah so you see the database is smaller lah two million only because of course you need to understand the database lot of games eight million there are a lot of space needed by the computer lah so of course this server they put this database in their their little server. From 1952 to 2090, so it's not really recent lah. 
So let if I put this leeches, what does it mean by if I go to leeches database? Meaning that leeches, whenever you play game in leeches, they store your game. They store your game. So if you click everything, you click everything, eh? you click everything, you, you highlight everything here, um, green, mean you highlight, meaning that the database is coming from all the games that have been ever played, ever played in the leeches because leeches, they store your games. Okay, so if I click down, you can see eh, it's changed. Okay, there are a lot more, and they are just any game lah, any game. From you see the the name also not the real name, it's just like username and so on. So you have around what? You have around three three thousand. So there are a lot of game lah. There are a lot of game. Compare when you go to master. You see they are just like part uh, four five six seven eight games only. So the database that you that you use dictate uh, the quality of your reference lah. For example, let's say if you if your reference is just a beginner games, you don't really learn much lah. So so that's why uh, the database that you use will dictate whether you have good reference or not. It's like uh, you watch a movie. There are good movie. There are bad movie. There are thousand of thousand of movie nowadays in the internet right on the internet but not every movie is good right so it's like it's same like database there are like all the games in the world have been played you can combine all everything of that but not everything is needed you just need a good database and so on okay so how to analyze so here in what we call in leeches you have this thing in local browser so you have this thing lah i think you know this so if you if you let's say i open this you can see it gives you numbers right plus zero two i go here give number plus zero one plus uh, zero two and then if if i go here suddenly plus one six from zero two to one six is like a sudden jump so you can sort of like interpret the interpretation you need to do yourself huh? no one will tell you you need to interpret yourself the more you learn the more you read you can sort of like give get the idea what does it mean so you see plus uh, one six meaning that as if the black here uh, here in leeches they give plus and minus so the plus from the white perspective if you see minus let's say this is minus 1.6 that's mean that black is have an advantage lah so in leeches you have like plus and minus but in chess base you have a little bit differently lah so you can go here so this you, you can <coughs> sort of like get the idea lah what does it mean and you also can see this bar eh? you see this uh, white bar and then this black bar you can see you can see the bar is in the middle meaning that the position is quite equal and then you go here and then you go here and then suddenly if you go f6 you see the bar going up so it's uh, you sort of like can sense something happening so white suddenly get some advantage okay the interpretation is you it's not uh, the, the computer the stockfish they also use stockfish they, they just give you what they calculate okay you cannot rely uh, uh, in the tactical position you can rely on engine on the computer but if let's say you are in the positional if if the position is not tactical then engine also not really good lah in the, i mean it's good but you need to do interpretation lah Okay, so that's the idea. Let's say I want you know I know that you have played this thing. Let's say I put uh, Kurato because it's easy. It's just four letters, so this is cool. Okay, so you can always uh, sort of like uh, prepare against your opponent. You have you still have you have played four round now, uh, so you left. There are eighteen round left, huh? So you can prepare uh, against your opponent. Lah. For example, Kur. So you go to uh, games you can see that if you look here you can see all the game that school or uh, ever play in this uh, leeches lah if you look here you will see that there are something called computer analysis available meaning that if you see something like this meaning that there are somebody already analyzed that thing okay for example if i click this thing you can see they are already analyzed there are some let's say i close this thing i close this thing so let me let me close this thing so you see there are some somebody do this thing 
this is not somebody this is basically computer lah they, they have like uh, they, they do self analysis they use a computer from the their server they just have their own computer uh, they use stockfish in the server so even though this is not like human written it I mean this is just a computer generated uh, uh, ni lah uh, this, they just do it uh, automatically lah so so you see somebody meaning that somebody already watched this uh, cool games and click on this what we call computer analysis here on the bottom here so that's why you can see all this thing all this thing okay if let's say you go let's say I go back and I try to find something that here yeah, like this there are no computer analysis available this you see there are computer analysis available there are nothing here right meaning that there are no one uh, analyze it yet I mean they don't use computer to analyze that yet so if you open this it's clean lah you can see it's clean so it's clean so if core want to analyze so you just open this thing and then you just uh, click the computer analysis lah and then they will give you analysis depending on the computer if you just rely on the computer analysis without thinking then you will not improve much you know that okay by doing this by, by doing computer analysis you learn something lah but it's not really because you ask people to you ask computer to do the job for you the thinking should be by you actually so uh, the good way to analyze your game is that first don't use computer first just try to make sense of what you do and try to analyze yourself and then the after that after you finish analyze your game then you check with the computer of course it takes time but you know you want to get something you need to uh, what we call uh, pay for it and then you need to pay in terms of time lah you can learn this of course i saw that for example let's say ottoman eh? ottoman if you go to ottoman you go to uh, what we call the games and then you see here okay you see here all the game of i think ottoman after he played he will click the computer analysis and then he just uh, he will see all these things lah this give you like immediate satisfaction lah immediate uh, learning lah but you know that any immediate thing is not really ni lah you need to the best way is to analyze yourself first without computer and then analyze with computer then it's more useful i don't see that you cannot do like this i mean yeah it's still useful you you learn something but it's not as the, the, the knowledge is not as, as much as when you do analysis yourself first and then you use computer okay okay <coughs> okay why i teach you, why i tell you all this thing first uh, today is because i want to give you the idea how to do self analysis lah uh, and also for you to prepare for your presentation uh, later on on the th third week you need to present at least one game uh, during the uh, class during the session and i will ask you to share the screen and you analyze so at least now i give you the big picture lah uh, at least for this for those who are new uh, what is uh, database what is how how to use chess online and so on okay enough about that so we're done with the database and so on are you still there cool because i yes I, I yes here. so i see yeah okay so now um okay how to improve in chess uh, today is more like uh, uh it's more like nila it's more like uh, it's not chit chat i mean i will show you something also later on uh, in terms of chess lah but i think i believe it's very important uh, to set everybody on the same ni lah because i don't want later on if i go straight to the analysis and so on i talk about chess base uh, opening book and so on uh, people will get like what you call uh, for a new player they will like oh, what this guy talk and so on so that's why i takes time for today is just to explain all this thing okay now how to improve in chess and normally uh, previously people use books lah nowadays we they have like a uh, uh, youtube and so on you can learn a lot even in leeches also you go you can go to the tool you can go to watch you can have leeches tv you have video library 
you can lift chest basic practice i mean nowadays i mean it's very easy huh? it's very very easy but also there are that also a problem because you have too much information huh? you have too much information then uh, that's also problematic you don't know which one is good which one is not good and so on back then when there are no internet uh, i'm i have a privilege to i don't know but i call it privilege to live in the era there are no internet uh, can you believe that okay you because you 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 are born after you born let's say you are like uh, secondary school you still you already exposed to the internet during my time when my secondary school there are no internet huh? there are no google there are no whatever yahoo there are no internet we are just based on the books just based on the phone and the phone also it's not like smartphone nowadays you can only call and message and every time you message you need to pay it's not like now whatsapp is free right so there are no internet at that time so uh, previous people <coughs> previous people they play they they, they study with the books uh, and yes there are chess book okay for you uh, 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 when I first play chess, I don't know. Oh, chess, you have books? Yeah, they are chess books. Okay. Uh, I just uh, show you. Uh, if But if you go to the library, let's say you go to university library, uh, our IAM library, you will not find any chess book. You can find, I mean, in matriculation, I think there are like two or three chess books, uh, the encyclopedia of the chess and so on. Uh, only like three or four books only in the li in the matriculation library in the our IA library there are only like two three book also so it's not really much thing that you can see there in the our public library normally public library is like a database uh, you you can uh, you can uh, make an analogy a database uh, this one a database like this you can see database here right uh, liches is like uh, liches database here yeah? database liches you can equate it like a public library you have all the games beginner non-beginner expert all of things mix up okay so it's very difficult for you to find a very good quality games because they are they, they are a lot of game they, 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 they casual game and so on okay so there are a lot of games there but if you want to really improve you need to go to specialized like library for example let's say okay let's say mizan you do phd in chess okay okay you do PhD <coughs> in chess they are actually phd in chess they, they are like they are people who do phd in chess you know the the well, AI lah. <laughs> normally in like the what we call the uh, ict lah they do a ai this thing so they are phd in chess you don't don't, don't get uh surprised they are phd in chess uh not phd in chess i mean phd that that doing phd related to chess okay they are if you are doing PhD in chess, you cannot get the material in the, our library, in our university library. You will find like only two two books in that library, and that two chess book also is very generic. You need to go a library that is very specific. Okay, um, uh, you it's better for you to go to the chess shop, uh, chess shop or chess club library in Malaysia. Uh, we we that thing is not really ni lah but in europe because chess in europe is quite flourish in malaysia is quite deep. we don't have any gm and so on uh, so in in malaysia the chess is quite like it's not it's fa is it's it's not famous i mean it's famous people play chess in malaysia but then the level is very low lah the level chess level in in Malaysia is very low compared to the Europe that they, they, they are playing the game is quite nila quite high lah. So I'm to show you there are a uh, chess what we call chess <coughs> chess a uh, bookstore. For example, this is chess a uh, bookstore in UK. Uh, so you see inside this uh, what we call inside this uh, shop, there are like hundreds of thousands of chess books. Okay. Um, so if you are doing PhD in chess, it's much better for you to go to this shop to find your data compared to do you go to the public library. Even though the public library, the size is very big, you have like one, two, three 
uh, what you call tingkat uh, yeah they are uh, very big the public library normally very big you have like uh, many floor and this chess shop only have one floor but the amount of the book that the the correct the right book that you need to use for your phd in chess is is a lot more here lah so not only you need uh, to know uh, database because i relate this with the database right not not only you need a database but also you need a good database okay so that's why my database that, that 8.6 million games that i show just now is basically games that is taken from the tournament that is recognized by the fide the governing body of the chess of the world okay so like that lah so you can go to the library to find you cannot find it in the in malaysia uh there are no digital library of chess in malaysia because chess is not really like popular in malaysia yet uh, compared to the like badminton and football but you can find this in the europe lah most in the europe uh if you go to nowadays you don't need to go to this uh, what we call the physical library you can go to online and so on you can just buy that uh, whatever lah and also in europe also the chess because this just uh, give you the idea lah today just give you the idea so in europe the chess is quite uh, what we call quite popular there so you can see this this uh, what you see in front of you now the scene here is quite normal lah in europe this in amsterdam okay this in amsterdam you, is quite normal so this uh, place is basically near the chess club okay near the chess club uh, they call it iwi, iwi chess club okay so this is <coughs> the chess club there mark iwi centrum mark iwi centrum okay you might ask what is mac iwi here what does it mean by centrum is central lah in in uh, in holland in dutch so mark iwi centrum so what is iwi so for that i uh, let me explain a little bit about the chess world champ chess champion lah so if you go here if you go to uh, world chess championship so let me put my self bigger like that let me put my self bigger so currently this is our uh, current world champion okay it's like uh, football you have this Ma uh, manchester uh, brazil is and so on in chess also they are they are like a uh, world champion so currently this is our world champion manus carlsen okay if you go down uh okay the chess the official chess because previously you need to understand chess is not played like what we played before uh previously the the what you call the bishop and the queen not move like what the queen move now okay until one time until i think 100 uh 188 something like that uh, uh 1800 like that then the chess world they, they they set the rule okay the queen must move like this the rook must move like this so the first world championship tournament uh basically uh held in 1986 so basically this is the first world champion uh wilhelm stenis whatever uh wilhelm stenis this is the second uh, world champion lesker the reason why i tell this is that later on later on uh, uh when i coach you when i said okay stenis lesker so that you know what i mean okay this stenis Okay, this basically uh, people call it like father of the modern chess because previously they are like chess also but this is not official lah. not uh, officially the tournament is not uh, official lah. so this is uh, Wilhelm Stanis people call it Stanis this is the first world uh, champion and then they are Lasker okay so <coughs> um, and they, this friend for friend with uh, Albert Einstein uh, and this is Capablanca, the third world champion. Okay, normally each world champion have their own distinctive, distinctive play. Uh, so, for example, Capablanca. Capablanca is uh, renowned for his exceptional endgame skill. Very good in endgame. So, if you want to learn chess, you can learn from this game. For example, let's say I go to database. The database that I... Uh, this thing. Oh, besar sangat lah muka saya. Let me make it small. For example, let's say I want to... Uh, let's say let's say i want to find game by kappa blanca so i just put kappa blanca and then i just okay and then it will sift through all the game by the kappa blanca so this is the good thing about having a database the good database because they have this all this game 
and remember you Capablanca is one of the world champion so as if now in front of you you can learn the game from the world champion so let's say I go here uh, so whatever so you see all the game here there are I don't know how many games but there are a lot of game so you can see here uh, you can go here and then you can learn from their game lah some game they have this annotation lah some game they have annotation by uh, say whatever so for example like this some game they are like annotation but in this in the in German lah in German whatever but yeah you can learn uh, from the game if you look a uh, couple blanca game mostly is end game lah mostly is end game goes to end game it's very good in end game so for example like this uh, so you see there are some uh, some database they already provide you some annotation for you so for example this is not done by the computer you need to write it okay so you can see black can be happy blah 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 so good database they sometimes offer you some annotation that annotation is by you see the annotation is annotated by chess base okay by the company lah okay they are sometimes annotated by the for example annotator you can go to annotator so you can see uh, let's say here uh, uh, if I go to uh, Carlson uh, Carl, uh, Carlson so you can see you can find uh, those game that is annotated by all the player lah uh, some player even <coughs> even even what we call even the Carlson the world champion also annotate the game also and yeah so here I just want to say that by having the game of the world champion past world champion you can learn from the grid lah you can learn all these things how they play and so on uh, if you look you see there are no not much word right not much word because they for the pro, pro, pro player they don't need all this thing they don't need all this thing they don't need all this thing all the talking talking thing if you go to the pro games I mean uh, the, the way how the pro annotate we call it give the annotation they just use the symbol they just use the symbol so this what we call uh, so this uh, this thing and uh, they just use a symbol this is equal this I think the only move not the only move this what I don't remember what is this so so that's how uh, the pro ni lah so coming back for this uh, for this thing uh, once you know because it's world champion you know world champion is somebody that has <coughs> already have like when you are world champion, you play against the best. So when you st <coughs> study the game, you study the game of the best. <coughs> so you can see this uh, Capablanca, you know he's a world champion that is good in the end game. So you can study the end game from him. This Alakin, uh, Alakin is uh, good in tactical. I mean, uh, good uh, is uh, the game. Uh, he's good in uh, attacking and so on. It doesn't mean that Alakin here is not good in end game. It just means that he is famous for attacking style. So that's what I mean. Doesn't mean that when I say this guy is good in attack, is weak, he is weak in end game. It just is it's famous for attack. So that's what I mean. Okay, and then this is Mark Iwi. Huh? So you see, this is what the, the, the thing that I just say now. Mark Iwi come from Dutch, uh, coming from the uh, from Holland, lah, Holland Dutch. So you see, uh, he is a doctor, so mathematician, author, and so on. Uh, so this is Maiwi, okay. So the one that I show you the picture before. So Maiwi uh, is more like it's not really famous uh, among the world champion. Maiwi is the less famous one lah. <laughs> People said that this guy is just uh, yeah, he he only held the champ world champion title only for two years. Okay, uh, but still is he is world champion. So this Botvinnik, uh, the Russian, uh, and then you have this uh, Smilov good in endgame, Michael Tall in attacking sacrifice, Petrosian in defense, uh, and then this is you have Bobby Fischer. Okay, what, later on when I say about Bobby Fischer, you know what I mean by Bobby Fischer. So it's a person. So Bobby Fischer. Uh, so this is good in like um, uh, precision. 
so you have Spassky here so this is uh, he is good in initiative um, generating initiative so Karpov is good in endgame so this is Gary Kasparov for those of you uh, Kur, Aisha and Khalid maybe you know this guy Kasparov you have heard this thing Kasparov is good in attacking also dynamic play and then nowadays you have this uh, Kramnik uh, endgame uh, this Anand speed chess and then finally you have this uh, Carlson lah nowadays is Carlson so uh, when you see this thing the, the picture here Mark Iwi here meaning that that is world champion so they make a like a, a library not a library a chess club under his name okay so I have visit this uh, chess club so so yeah so you see this is a doctor uh, he, is, he is a doctor the real doctor in mathematics like it's not a doctor by medical sense it's like a PhD in mathematical so inside that thing you have all these things this is basically all this memorabilia uh, the, 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 the notation so previously uh, back then they don't, we don't have a computer and so on so you see all we need, you need to write you need to write okay so yeah so that's how people learn um, uh, previously okay uh, what i want to show you uh, just now uh, is basically to relate uh, chess base as with the specific library eh? uh, remember previously we talked about the database chess base and then i equate a uh, public library as a place that govern all the games in the world regardless they are amateur professional beginner and so on public library but if you go to the specific place like a chess shop or club or chess club you can find more books there more useful book on chess there so coming back what i talking before lah so this is what i want to say lah so if you go to this is like a uh, environment in typical chess club you can see the game, uh, the table with the chess set and you have the chess book. There are a lot of chess book there. So you can have a lot more chess book uh, here than, uh, than you can find in this, uh, what we call, in the public library. And the chess book, uh, for those of you who never see the chess book, this is that, uh, in this game. So this is the, what we call, the chess book lah. Whatever chess book. So uh, during this, uh, my visit here, uh, I, I bought one book because here this is in Dutch in Holland eh? so sometimes you don't see a chess book uh, most of the book that you can buy in online is in, in English but sometimes you have something book like this right so this is in Dutch uh, in what we call in in Holland eh? uh, in, in, in Dutch language so so this Avro 1938 this is a famous uh, what we call famous tournament so normally in chess book for those who are never see so it's something like this lah it's something like this this is in Dutch so you see there are no USP L whatever that thing so that is typical chess book so this how chess book uh, look like eh? so you learn from this uh, sometimes I prefer to just uh, use this rather than use the online uh, the, the computer because you know the smell the book you can smell and so on. I mean you have like this I don't know. Sometimes you 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 are better off uh, hold the thing. Eh? So at least for me lah. Uh, but of course for the east, you just use a chess base. You just uh, go to online, watch a YouTube, and so on, and so on. So this is by Mark Iwi. So you see, uh, some world champion analyzed by Doctor Mark Iwi. So whatever inside here is basically. Uh, so this I like him. So basically, whatever uh, analyzed here is analyzed by the world champion itself. It's as if they are like expert there teaching you how to play chess. So that's how previous people learn how to play chess. Here also you have this uh, like uh, by Bobby Fischer, uh, my 60 memory game. So you see uh, this is English. So you can see uh, very uh, English is easy lah. So it give you not only the annotation, it give you the what happened during the game and so on. So that's how you know you understand why this player play this move and so on. They explain to you. If you use the uh, computer program like chess uh, program like Stockfish that I show you, the computer just give you the plus minus and so on. You need to interpret it. But if you have these uh, books, they tell you uh, what we call in human language. 
or what does it mean and so on okay uh, so that's how you can uh, improve the thing lah okay so basically uh so you need to find so this is example of chess book and so on and this is what the scenery in the chess uh, club lah so you have when you come it's free to enter and then if let's say uh, before pandemic if you want to go uh, uh, we don't have chess club i mean the proper chess club in malaysia but uh, in europe in somewhere else they have this proper chess club so everybody can come and they can play casually and then can borrow the book it's like a library it's like a club it's like a club it's like a proper club lah. so for example this they also have this uh if you look here blah 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 d rai lopez okay so this tau bila ni saya tak tahu uh, this i don't know how to read latin but basically this rai lopez this uh, the book by rai lopez and if you know this thing if you play chess you you ever uh, you sometimes you for example let's say i go here this thing this move this this and this and this this is called rai lopez eh? rai lopez opening okay rai lopez opening there are a lot of name of the opening eh? there are rai lopez there, there are many opening lah names and so on if you go to google uh, uh chess opening chess opening the reason why i tell you this today is just to give you the idea only so that uh, we are on the same boat so next time i coaching when i see something about Ray lopez something about fisher you uh, those who are new like kur and aisha know what i mean eh? so if you look here chess opening you see there are a lot lot of chess opening the name of the chess opening uh, they are not really there, there are a lot of name so you see here there are number of name this ray lopez you see ray lopez kenapa tak ada gambar hey gambar mana tak ada hey tak ada ah basically you see they are name scores italian blah 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 so they are name here so ray lopez is basically the game is this when you play when you play this play this play this play this this chess opening chess opening as i said in the previous class is that you don't need to remember everything the name itself enough for you to understand how to play chess but chess opening is your discussion lah it's easy for you to understand if people say ray lopez oh i already know for this is ray lopez but if you go uh, for example <coughs> like this so then this is a berlin defense uh, from black per, uh, perspective and so on so knowing the name is basically uh, if you look here at the bottom here you can also see lah uh, i think you can see bottom eh bottom here you see my arrow the bottom here eh? Ray Lopez, Berlin Defense, and so on. So knowing the name is not essential, but it is your communication among the player lah. Uh, <coughs> okay. So what you see just now, uh, the the image that you see just now is book written by Ray Lopez. Okay. Sometimes the name self in the name of the player lah. D. Uh, Ray Lopez Pagno. This is the old book lah. So. Uh, Nowadays, if you ever watch the Netflix uh, Queen Gambit, I think most of you will watch this, right? Queen Gambit, Queen Gambit. Uh, uh, this guy, this, this, this uh, minister is when uh, Queen Gambit, we keep it there. Uh, Man, the honey, this Queen Gambit, ah, uh, the Queen Gambit. Uh, from in the Netflix, uh, you know, uh, this siapa nama dia? Anna, I don't remember. So, for example, the Queen Gambit is basically the opening like this, uh, the the opening that's coming from this. So this is Queen Gambit lah. Normally we call it Queen Gambit. So basically they make uh, this a new film by Netflix. Uh, Queen Gambit is pretty good game lah. Uh, so those who are not, uh, especially for the sister lah. If you want, uh, yeah, that's why uh, it's it's good lah to 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 watch this game. To yeah. So in Queen Gambit, Queen uh, Gambit uh, book movie movie so let's say a uh, news let's say i go to picture image eh? okay uh, in the what we call in the queen gambit here you uh, movie you will find that this uh, i don't know what the name for this i call, i know it's anna lah because i call it anna the name this girl i call it anna uh, they if you watch this film they Uh, she used some books uh, during uh, in in the orphan uh, uh, i don't remember 
So this thing, the, the yeah, yeah, this thing, the, the, the this Anna, the, the, the learn chess. Uh, initially, uh, she learned by uh, learning from the books, uh, the MCO, the modern chess opening books lah. So this, I want uh, the idea, the reason why I show this thing is because to show you that the opening that I tell just now, uh, the one that have this. The opening here, this thing, the Rilo Pass is one part of the opening. The opening here, we have the encyclopedia for this. For example, this thing, yeah, but sort modern. We call it MCO, MCO, a modern chess opening. For example, even the but of course, who want to learn this thing, right? So yeah, you can see that thing. So that thing. So that's how chess book looks like. Okay. So uh, basically, just to show you that. Uh, each move in the chess game have their own names okay for example the game uh, even the the opening by, by Khalid like this they also have some name but not really popular lah so let's say you go here so this is like Van Kutch whatever the, the, the name but yeah just to show you something lah um Yep, that is chess. Uh, so I just want to make analogy between chess base, the database, and the public library, and the books, and the opening, and so on. And then, yeah, this this basically in URA. Last time this in URA uh, during before before this lah, we we organize the game and so on. So yeah, so yeah in URA, but no, this not really important. Okay, so um. Yeah, that's about it. That's basically today I talking in general about the chess in general lah. It's not much about the 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 analysis yet. Uh, I'm touching about how you analyze how can you analyze the game and so on and also what is database, what is the opening, what is chess book and so on at least so this coaching session is today's coaching session is uh, particularly targeted to those who are new I mean uh, like Kur, Aisha and Khalid at least we will on the same boat later on uh, when I discuss other things because after this the coaching after this is straight to the analysis and so on so during analysis when I say Kapa Blanca when I say uh, Fisher and so on at least you know something when I say chess base this thing this thing you, you get the idea and then you can start uh, uh, preparing against your what we call against your opponent uh, by looking at their chess game from the chess I teach you about how to use the analysis and so on Okay, so I think today I will, uh, yeah. So next class and ne next session, actually this session I want to explain other, yeah, this coaching number two, right? Actually today I want, the plan is basically I want to discuss about the Khalid game, Aisha game, Safidin game, Honey game, ah, this is like, yeah, yeah, Mio. Okay, this Faiz game and so on. So this basically uh, the plan originally, but I believe when when uh, this morning I think that if I just talk about just base database, if I if I straight go to this thing, and I don't give some basic basic background on what is just base, just this thing and so on, is will be very difficult for me to explain further later on when I coaching. So that's why today I. I decided to just give you the generic idea lah about chess. Okay, so now, so now question and answer. Uh, any question, generic, generic question lah. Any question from the floor? Any question? Uh, especially for the new, new student lah. Because next, next coaching session is straight to the, straight to the crack lah. Straight to the uh, analysis and so on. So it's quite, you need to prepare mentally lah. Because I will go quite quick. Today is more like relax. Uh, I mean, it's it's pretty relaxed. I mean, just not really. You need to think much. It's just you, 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 you hear my 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 chiloteh je lah. But next coaching uh, 
coaching what we call coaching uh, session will be quite ni lah quite dense so hopefully you need to prepare so how you can prepare is that for for those who are new maybe you can just go to wikipedia get the idea first uh, just what is just so get the idea so easy for me later on so that i will not go back and say okay go back and explain this and this and this okay uh, at least for you to know for the new person to know about this just piece relative value just writing system and then learn a little bit just just google a little bit about uh just opening just opening just opening just google maybe just go to the wiki or you can just watch uh, youtube and so on so at least you get the base idea lah so, uh, okay so any question mio any question uh tiada no hani hani tak ada ni hani dalam ha ada Hari tidur Hari tidur eh Hari tidur Nanti dia kata lemah lagi tu Mio But, but uh, maybe we will talk Actually today uh, I want to Talk about this Hari you see uh, Just I put somewhere uh, Just see You see I have this Umi Hani here It's already uh, Annotated a little bit here You can see here yeah, annotated, But uh, I don't have time today It's okay. Maybe next next uh, session. Aisha, anything? No question. Mizan. Ada. Uh, Kur. Ada. Nuril. No. Tido. Tido. Faiz. Yeah. Ada apa? Oh, bawa bangun tidur. Sarah? Ada. Uzaifi? Jangan main game. <laughs> Semua tak ada. Atau Ben? Tak ada. Okay. Uh, Khalid is not here. So, so uh, nanti you bagitahu Izzat ya. Eh? Uh, attendance ni nanti you take out because uh, from the Zoom I can check the attendance and so on how long you be here and so on because I need to give to the spot complex ya. Eh? Okay, even though even though yeah, I will give yeah, the recording, yeah, yeah, even though I I give the recording, but I hope you can come. Uh, uh, I hope you can come uh, because remember you are paid by the sport complex, so it's like your responsibility to come unless you have something that you cannot go. For example, uh, you have like internship, like could have the clinical class later on and so on. So I will still give the recording. Um, But yeah, during the what we call the uh, uh, Zoom meeting, uh, hopefully you will attend lah. Because the next coaching session is important. This today coaching session is more like giving the background to a new player lah, uh, and also give you how to self-analyze your game so that you can prepare your game. Because I plan uh, to give a prize for the top three uh, for the league. Okay, uh, maybe top three lah, top three only. Okay, so regardless whether you are female or brother, uh, it's only top three because to show you that the significance of the podium, people don't remember those who are in the fourth place, fifth place, seventh place, whatever. So to show to you that the sport complex also they just care about whether you get podium or not. Uh, so the price that I can offer for time being I can offer only for the top 3 uh, the amount uh, later lah but at least uh, as for now I I can say that I can give price for top 3 uh, they are no best woman or whatever lah okay you need to compete really compete lah for example Mizan if you want to ni Honey if you want to get if you get number 4 You still got nothing lah. Eh? Last time it's okay because you play against your colleague, your sisters. It's okay lah. You boleh lah tapau. Sekarang you ada Mio semua. Eh, Mio pun kena kan. <laughs> <laughs> you ada Safidin and everybody. Ah, uh. So, I want you to play against the strong player lah. Um, yeah, I think that's it. It's already uh, 10.35. Um, so, I will see you on... Saturday eh? on Saturday let's see let me see the thing let me see first the the ni schedule okay
Okay, let me see here. Okay. Okay. <coughs> so, so. Uh, ada. Okay, game link. Game schedule. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, so the next meeting will be on Saturday, 4 September, uh, 9 to 10.30 a.m. That's question 3. This uh, where I will start uh, quite um, straight to the analysis huh? because today I just give it the background. So I straight to the analysis on uh, third coaching, four coaching also, five coaching also. So <coughs> I hope that's it for today. So thank you all. We end our uh, meeting today with the session of Tasbih Kafarah and Surah Tunas.